is very engaging. You can't take your eye off. You can't say, I'll see it five minutes later because there's such constant movement because handball is an Olympic sport. It's a very popular sport in many parts of the world and so too in India, but it just hasn't had the profile or the pedestal to stand and enjoy the sunshine. I think because of this professional league now, handball will get a massive fillip. Well, listen, um, the auction, of course, is pretty standardized because the auctioneer's role is uh, more or less set. But I'm really excited about the fact that a new sport or a sport is getting a new opportunity in our part of the world to move ahead. Because handball is an Olympic sport. It's a very popular sport in many parts of the world and so too in India. But it just hasn't had the profile or the pedestal to stand and enjoy the sunshine. I think because of this professional league now, handball will get a massive fillip. And I'm so excited about that. The auction, of course, was fun, was very important for all the franchisees. But I must say, for me, very tiring. Well, some of the big moments, of course, are when players went for uh, or had a lot of interest. So when that level of interest was being showed by multiple franchises, it's always fantastic because you know there's all the franchises have done their homework. And because of their homework, there's so much interest in all the teams. We'll remember all of that. Some prices or should I say the uh, points uh, were, you know, as high as the sky. And I was so happy that players will understand that their value and worth, maybe not in terms of great commercial value at this point of time, but eventually will depend on this level of interest. And of course, later when the league starts, because of their performance, because in sport, performance is the only currency. Well, of course, I mean, this is the biggest moment for handball in India. Yes, sometimes international success also matters and matters a great deal. But that's once in a year or once in five years or whatever it is when you do well in the tournament internationally. But more tournaments need to be held in India, which is not easy. But more important than all of that is a professional league because it shows people who play that sport a way for the future to make a livelihood. Because right now, you may say that you want to play for the country, you want to win medals for the country, but the rewards are not fantastic because if you're not winning medals, then the rewards are not there. The minute there's a professional league, not one, not 12, but hundreds of players will make a living, gradually better and better so and they will get jobs and the whole ecosystem of handball is going to improve rapidly and there's a multiplication factor when there's a professional league. That's what's going to happen to handball now. Yeah, I must say so. I mean, I'm obviously very enthusiastic. I had a role to play. I could have had a more subdued role, but I was so excited that my excitement, I hope, was showing through. But yes, there's no doubt that I thought the franchisees were very clued on. They were very enthusiastic, competing with each other, knowing each other. Some of them, of course, are, are uh, should we say, uh, franchisees in other sports as well. So they knew what they were getting into. And a couple of franchisees were new to the whole, you know, sports team ownership game. So I'm particularly excited for them because they are now entering the sporting arena for the very first time. And I hope they enjoy it because, as I said inside there as well, the number one criteria or the number one thing for a franchisee to look for is privilege and enjoyment. Now, winning and losing is part of the game and they have to realize that they have to step back and not worry so much, about, so much about winning and losing, but much more so about whether they are enjoying their team ownership. I suspect all six will. Athletic. Because there's constant running around. It's like, you know, basketball in a sense. Uh, and, and those leaping goals that we see very often. There's constant movement. And I think for any uh, sport to do well in terms of viewership or in terms of uh, visible impact for all those who are watching on other television or other media, the fact that there's constant movement is very engaging. You can't take your eye off. You can't say, I'll see it five minutes later because there's such constant movement. And also the fact that, you know, it's a sport that's relatively uh, without infrastructure. Yes, if you play indoor at the highest international level, you require a certain sophisticated infrastructure. But it's a sport that you can play out on the ground anywhere, on a lawn or wherever else you want. And uh, I think by seeing these handball players and the overseas stars who are coming in, there'll be a lot of interest among youngsters to play the game. And uh, just to get back to your question, constant movement is always good for a sport.